guys, taking a break from the uh, box camper uh, van build, and uh, I've got to do a little work around here. And here's something I need to uh, get running again. So I think it's a 2003, yeah, 2003 Honda Ruckus. It's been sitting in the garage. I've owned it for maybe two or three years, and um, we just don't ride it. It just sits here. And that's uh, the second battery I've had to replace in it. And I've had to clean the carburetor out once. And uh, it just sits too long. We don't really use it. So thinking about getting it running again and uh, putting it on the market and selling it. So that's today's project. Got another dead battery. So as you can see, I tried to, uh, try to charge it up. Wouldn't take a charge. So I'm going to have to take that out, replace the battery, and probably clean the carburetor again. 2,500 miles on it, so hardly any miles. Like I said, it just doesn't get used, and there's my battery. And I replaced that last year, and it's deader than a door nearly. Should have kept a triple charger on it, but I didn't. And that's definitely not going to take a charge. I'm trying to make myself a rule around here. If I don't use it in a year, then I'm going to get rid of it. Battery shot. Nothing. All right, couldn't find a battery to put on this thing, and I couldn't start it off a charger. So I'm gonna use this big battery. Provide enough amperage to crank this thing up. So I have yanked the carburetor out of the ruckus. And here it is. Flipped it over. The bowl looks pretty clean. Not a lot of dirt in it. These jets do not look so clean. So I think that's where I'm going to start. Yeah, so I got this thing all taken apart. And I've got this one jet that I cannot clear. And I can't find anything small enough to go in this thing. I guess this is the uh, the idle jet. I'm not sure. But I've tried copper wire, the thinnest stuff I could find. I need to find some kind of spring or something. Something that's stiff enough to, uh, to clear it. Well, keep looking. Yeah, so I could not get that jet clear, so I ended up taking my smallest drill bit and actually drilling it out. It's probably going to be way too big. But I was probably end up going to have to buy another jet anyway, so. Better than before. So I ended up ordering a new fuel pump, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to empty the old gas out of here, just to make sure we have nothing but fresh gas. Which, it looks pretty fresh, actually. Anyway, this way I'm, I'm sure what I'm running through that carburetor is uh, is all good gas.
put some fresh gas in it when my pump gets in. Waiting on parts again. Should have brought my knife over. Yeah, I didn't go for the original Honda equipment because those seem to fail anyway. Chinese built pretty good scooters, or you know, they build scooters that work for a while. And uh, the fuel pump, man, it's probably like half the price of a Honda original equipment. So Honda makes good stuff, but uh, this fuel pump failed, so I decided I'd take a chance on a on a Chinese version. See how it compares. Here is the original, and here is my Chinese model. It's even got the, uh, eh, it's very similar. I'm sure the Han has got a little bit better quality, but as long as it gets the job done, I can buy two of these <laughs> for the uh, price of one of these at Phil. Hardest part is getting these hoses off. Yes. Doing a lot of computer work lately and, uh, you know, kind of fabricating stuff with wood, but uh, I'm ready to get back to the mechanical stuff. I like that. So I have all the fuel drained out of here. fuel pump tell it's going to burn a lot better than it was before because I can back off the idle now like I had it all jacked up because it wouldn't idle. Well, definitely not warmed up yet. Alright, so I replaced the uh, fuel pump and fuel filter and now I'm getting too much, too much gas. I mean, uh, this, give me a wet spark plug. So I'm thinking I drilled that jet out too much. And the way I'm going to solve that is got a new spark plug. For replacement and I got new jets. I hope these jets fit. Yeah I drilled that out a little too much. You can see, I don't know if you can see right through there, but it's a number 35S. I hope I, I hope this thing fits. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Uh, it does not look like the right size. Dang it. It's not. Crud.
forgot to tighten the screw in the uh, carburetor bowl. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's promising. That definitely made a difference. That jet was pretty much useless. Oh yeah. So far, so good. things ever run. Alright, here we go. Give it a test. Now you're going to want to keep it, huh? I've always liked it. <laughs> I've always liked it. It's just not hard to find. Yeah, we need a bigger one. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it. Don't buy it.